AI-generated virtual influencers are hugely popular on the internet. Some of them are making over $10,000 in a month. This is old news. You may have seen many online tutorials on how to make an AI influencer. But while making the influencer, you may have faced many challenges and may be unable to build a high-quality influencer. In this video, I will share a new method of making a virtual influencer and a new way to make some real money. So, without further ado, let's dive in. This is Devid and you are watching AI Lockup. To make our new influencer today, I will use Focus AI with the Juggernaut XL model. Now you may tell, what's new here? We all know about Focus and how to use it on Google Collab. I agree with you, even I made a video on how to use Focus on Google Collab. But there is a problem. During the image generation, Focus stop working on Google Collab very often. Many of my subscribers ask me to solve this issue. And guess what, I found a new way to use Focus, which is far better than the previous method. Not only that but in this video, I will dive deeper to generate a high-quality influencer. And at the end of this video, I will share the method of making money with your influencer from the very first day. So, watch the video till the end. To run the Focus AI, today I will use Kaggle Collab and Nogrok. You will find the Focus Collab notebook link in the description. Once you click on the link your interface will be like this one. Now click on the copy my edit button from here. After coming to this page, click on the register button if you don't have an account on Kaggle yet. Now create an account with your Google or email account. After that, you have to enter a username. After entering the username, click on agree with Kaggle terms and conditions. Alright, our account is ready. Now we have to run the notebook. To do this, first, we have to start the runtime. Click on the start icon from here. Once the connection is ready, click on the first cell run button from here. But there is a problem. Here you can notice, it's showing an error. To solve this error, we have to do two things. First, if you are first time in Kaggle, you have to verify your phone number from here. After verifying your number, find the internet option. You may find the internet is turned off, simply turn on it. After that, restart the runtime and hit the first cell run button. It will take some time to complete the process. You may see some errors in the last. Don't worry it will work. Once it completed we need to run the, the second one means run the web UI. To run the second cell, we need Ngrok token. To get Ngrok token, open a new tab on your browser and search for Ngrok. After coming to the Ngrok homepage, click on sign up for free and then create an account with your Google or email account. After creating an account, your interface will be like this one. Now simply click on your off token from here. You will get Ngrok token. Just copy the token and come back to Kaggle. Paste the token here and then run the cell. Once it is completed, you will find a link like this one. Click on it. And here it is, our Focus AI with Juggernaut XL model is ready to use. Alright, let's have a look at the interface. At the top is the preview panel. Here you will find the generated images. After that, this is the prompt box where we have to enter the prompt. At the bottom, you will find two checkboxes, Input Image and Advance. Let's click on the Advance checkbox. You will notice some advanced settings on the right side. First, in the Settings tab, first of all, the preset. As I want to make a realistic model, I will go with a realistic preset. Then you will find Image Quality Performance. Select Quality from here to get better results. After that the aspect ratio, you can generate images in every possible aspect ratio. Then number of images, output format, and the negative prompt. Here you can enter what you don't want in your image. And in the end, you will find the seed. After that, in the style tab, you can select the image style. There are more than 200 styles available here. You can select from here. Alright, next, in the model tab, you can select base model, refine model, and LoRa. As we ran it on Kaggle and we didn't insert any checkpoint, Laura, or refine model, so we can't change it now. But if you want to add you can do it. Okay, in the last, the advanced tab, you can set the guidance scale and image sharpness scale here. And in the end, you will find the developer debug mode, it is an advanced option. We will talk about it later. Alright, let's generate some images. 
come to the prompt box and then enter the prompt. For example, I am entering 25 years old beautiful Latin lady, shoulder length pink and black hair, blue eyes, big smile, hyper detailed photography, portrait. After entering the prompt, hit the generate button from here. Now the AI will start generating the images. You will able to show the process. It will take some time to generate our images. Here you can see the images. Focus generates two images for us. And the quality of the images is incredible. Now you have to select one image as your model. To download any image on your device, click on the download icon from here. Alright, our model image is ready. Now we have to create more images with the same face but doing various activities. And do this I will use the face swap technology. Come to the input image option and then to the image prompt tab. After coming to the image prompt tab, scroll down and turn on the advance option. It will provide you with more control in generating images. Alright, now just drag and drop one of the images in an image box. After that, select the face swap option from here. Now we will give prompt about our environment. After all is set, hit the generate button. And here it is. Our images are ready. Let's have a look. Although it generates images with a similar face to our model but the quality of the image is very bad. We need to improve it. Don't worry, we can do it easily with focus. To do that, come to the Impaint and Outpaint tab and then drag and drop the image you want to refine. After inserting the image on the Impaint and Outpaint, come to the Advanced Setting tab. Turn on the Developer Debug mode. After that, come to the Control tab and enable the Mixing Image Prompt and Impaint option. Now we have to paint the reference image face carefully. Simply paint the face area. Although I am painting all over the face and hair, you can paint only on the face area. After completing the painting, scroll down and click on the method drop-down menu. Select the improved details, face, hands, eyes, etc. from here. After that, in paint additional prompt. You can select from these additional quick prompts or add your own. Alright after all is set, hit the generate button. And after waiting some time, I got this result. Look at the face quality of the image now. It's really really impressive. What about your thoughts? Let me know in the comments section. If you are enjoying the video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's talk about another interesting feature. If you want to generate images in a particular pose, maximum time it's not possible with the prompts. But you can do it with focus. For example, I want to generate images like this one. You have to upload this image on the image prompt image box. After uploading the image, select the Pyracani option from here. Then come to the InPaint tab and remove the InPaint image. After that, you can customize the prompt and then hit the Generate button. And here is the result. You can see that the pose is like the second image but the face is the same as the first image. Isn't it a great feature? Now if you want to improve the face quality you can use the previous InPaint method like me. Okay, now another question, is it possible to insert or draw any elements to any image? The answer is yes. For example, I want to draw a necklace on her neck. Come to the InPaint or OutPaint tab again. Remove the existing image and drop one of the refine images. This time we have to turn off the mixing image prompt and InPaint option. Now draw an area where you want to paint something. After that, enter the description here. After all is set, hit the generate button. And here is the result. That's really impressive. You can manipulate your model images and make them more attractive. In this way, you can generate unlimited images for your AI influencer model without spending a single bucks. Now let's talk about how you can turn your AI influencer into a money-making machine. You may find various videos to make money with AI influencers on YouTube. They are talking about various methods, and all of them are time-consuming methods. However today, I will share a platform where you can start your money-making journey from the very first day. I am talking about FanView. It's an AI-powered subscription-based social platform. The best alternative to OnlyFans. I already discussed this platform in one of my previous videos. If you didn't watch the video, watch the video from the i button. Let's have a quick recap. Go to the description box and click on the FanView link. After coming to the FanView homepage, Click on the sign up button from here. Now create an account with your Google or email account. 
after creating the account. Click on Become a Creator from here. Next, click on Start Earning, now enter your country of residency. After that, you have to verify your identity with KYC verification. Once you've completed verification you can set up your page and set your subscription rate. The minimum rate is $4 monthly. That means if anyone subscribes to your profile, then you will be paid $4. There is only one tip to increase your income with FanView, increase the interaction with the audience. Now the question is, how much time do you have to spend on FanView to increase interaction with fans? The answer is just a few minutes. Because FanView has an AI feature. You can create an AI version of yourself to message with your fans around the clock. Saving you time and improving your connection with your fans. Not only that, but you can also train FanView Voice AI to reply to fans with voice notes that sound just like you, completely automated. Look at here. Once I click on any of the influencers, it will automatically send a message to my inbox. Now if I send another message, it will reply immediately. This reply is not from the actual person but is generated by AI. That means you don't need to spend so much time to interact with your fans like on OnlyFans. So, what you are waiting for, let's start a money-making journey with FanView and an AI influencer. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating FanView influencers with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!